published 1730 EDT, the 17th of September 2017, updated 1927 EDT, the 17th of September 2017. Jurgen Klopp had just completed a lengthy round of TV interviews and was heading to Anfield's press room, muttering as he went, "Always the same," he said, repeating the words. Klopp was referring to the line of questioning that he had come from those with cameras and microphones but he could easily have been referring to the latest performance from his team. Klopp is an open book when it comes to reading his mood and this was one of those days when his eyes narrowed, the tone of his voice lowered and the arm-waving animation on the touchline was triggered, primarily, by Liverpool's deficiencies. Jurgen Klopp believes Liverpool are heading in the right direction despite two dropped points the Reds' defence was breached far too easily as Burnley drew first blood at Anfield the home crowd had come to see Burnley buried under an avalanche of goals in the game that was closest to Liverpool's 125th anniversary but, for all that they had 35 shots through the 90 minutes, they were left growling the frustration because they had conceded cheaply once again. The atmosphere once the action started was touchy. Some fans travel to Anfield now with expectations that are out of kilter with Liverpool's position in the modern game others simply don't trust some of the players who have been handed the responsibility of wearing the shirt. When you mix that together, the uncertainty grows and Sean Dyke, Burnley's manager, picked up on that when he sat in the stands for the Champions League game with Sevilla it left him convinced a rudimentary plan could let his team cause havoc. Scott Arfield pounced to put the Clarets down ahead and they had chances to seal the victory Liverpool's Achilles heel was again exposed as Simon Mignolet was beaten low to his right Liverpool Haven got a hope of winning the title if they defend like this. They batted Burnley but fell behind when Joel Matip and Ragnar Clavin failed to take responsibility after a long ball and allowed Scott Arfield to steal in and score. By repeatedly changing his back line, Jurgen Klopp is not letting his defenders develop an understanding. Does he not know his best back for a goalkeeper? On the day, Liverpool can beat anyone but unless they sort out their issues at the back, they cannot expect to mount a title challenge. We deliberately got the ball as far down the throat as we could because we felt it would be effective, said Dyke, who saw Scott Arfield score in the 26th minute after the usual panic in Liverpool's defence. I'm not really going to worry too much if you think long ball, short ball. It's the right ball that counts. I was here on Wednesday, fans were saying it, pundits were saying it, everyone was talking about Liverpool's vulnerability, so they cannot all be wrong. Was our plan that we outpass them 500 passes to whatever no? So what can be an effective tool we can use let's face it, we had to cleared off the line from set pieces. Had Burnley won at Anfield for the first time since 1974, Klopp could not have complained. For all that Liverpool had possession, the life of the visitors' goal was not charmed and it was Liverpool's good fortune that Mo Salah equalised so quickly. Liverpool were grateful for an immediate response from Mo Salah but could not build on it. Philippe Coutinho started the match on Saturday following a summer of transfer speculation the draw took. Liverpool's points haul at Anfield for the Premier League era to 1,000, they are only the fourth team to reach that mark, after Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea, as Dyke observed, each ball that was flung into the area felt like it was met with a sharp intake of breath and the fear that Liverpool, who have conceded more than Crystal Palace, would crack. Still Klopp was defiant. If we were not creating chances then it'd be really concerned but we are creating. We had enough chances to win. We made a few wrong decisions but this was a really hard game to play. The squandered points took the spotlight away from the return of Philippe Coutinho, who was starting for the first time since the move he wanted to Barcelona fell through. 
He was given a respectful ovation before kickoff but left the field to limited noise when substituted. Guntinia turned down two requests to speak to local reporters as he left the stadium but did chose to open up to ESPN Brazil about how on it he was to be the subject of the £114 million bid from Barcelona but says there is no agreement in place to leave in 12 months. What happened was a job offer and in life, sometimes you get interested, Coutinho said. Sometimes you don't. In my case, everyone knows that I got interested, my family too. It was a complicated month but I am here and I am working hard for the team's goals. So is there a chance he will do what Luis Suarez did and leave next year? Not that I know of, Coutinho replied. I am doing my best here. It is all in the past.